time for a good meal before heading to the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. For Siegfried Kunzmann and his colleague, this is the first visit to an authentic tapas bar. It is also their debut at the trade fair. Kunzmann is hoping for global success with this software, which recognizes different languages, writes them down and translates them. Our company might only be small, but we are hoping to establish a reach similar to that of WhatsApp, and we are working very hard towards that. We are improving our technology and expanding our repertoire of languages, with the aim of eventually being able to cover large parts of it, if not the entire world. Big ambitions for a small startup, but the product is quite simple. All right, let's see or listen to what happens. With the help of another German company at the trade fair, he gives a language recognition demonstration. I'm now leaving you a voice message and I'm curious to see what the text looks like. And we could also meet tomorrow morning. Thank you. Seconds later, the text appears. It works in different languages and even different dialects. English, there's English, Chinese English, Spanish English, New York English. New York English. The tester is impressed. So I can call someone who speaks a different language, let's say Spanish. His text is transmitted, translated into German, and then played to me as audio. If that can be done very quickly, in real time, I can easily communicate with people who speak different languages, languages I don't understand. State-of-the-art technology from Germany could be interesting for big companies in the social media sector. Kunzmann, whose company is the only German one offering voice recognition here, sets off to find the Facebook stand. There are no important social media companies based in Europe, so if it is global recognition he wants, he'll have to deal with US companies. I am looking for Facebook. Yeah, but... It's... Only with an appointment? But he needs an appointment to get to be seen, so opts instead to go and listen to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg talking live. We go to Zuckerberg, talk. Uh, yeah, but um, that kind of... Here too, he's not allowed in. He has the wrong pass. Okay, wasn't it? Kunzmann would have liked to hear the man who, for the past few months, has been buying one startup after another. But at least the talk is being broadcast on screens around the venue. The German businessman is not looking to sell his company, but he would like to work with Facebook. Facebook could be a partner for us, and we could prove our German technology could be based in conjunction with a market leader. Kunzmann believes in his product. Now all he needs is a suitable partner in order to establish his technology on the world market.